Hi everyone, I'm a new Fusion 360 user, actually an absolute newbie. Uh, one of the first things I ran into when I purchased my subscription was being able to rename or delete a project. I, I like to keep all of my file structure in a certain order that makes sense to me. And this was just very difficult for me to find. I looked online and could not find anything that explained to me exactly how it was done. So I know there's a lot of people out there that are running into the same issues. Uh, and I just wanted to share what I found and, and how I'm able to do that. So the screen that I'm on right now is the actual opening screen. And up in the upper left hand corner where the grid is, if you click that grid, it will show you all of your projects. Um, the two that I'm going to be working with in this video is one, delete this project, where we'll actually delete it, and then the other one is rename this project so that we can get this renamed. And so what I found is if you will click on the name of the project that you're wanting to work with from here, uh, let's do the rename first. If I just double click on that, it's going to bring up this page here, and at the very top, you click on the name of your team that you've set up, and then you go to the gear setting. And when this page loads, you'll notice on the right hand side that you have team, settings, members, and roles, and then projects. And so I clicked on the projects page, and you can see on this side it shows you all of the uh, different projects you're working with and their status. Now, I thought, well, this is where I should be making my changes, but it actually doesn't happen from here. You can show all or archived, which is helpful in when you're trying to delete, but really not for the rename. All right, so what I've found is if you'll go over to the actual project, and we're going to rename this one, just click on rename the project, and it brings up this page. If you'll go over to the right-hand side and click the little drop um, pop-out window, you'll see that it says rename this project. You'll also notice that when I hover my mouse above the name, that the edit pencil is displayed. It's not very intuitive, but it is how it works. So um, the rename this project, we'll just say project renamed and hit enter. And when you do this, you'll notice on the left hand side that it doesn't instantly update. I think this has to do, since it's in the cloud, it needs to be refreshed. What I found is if I just right click here and hit reload, as soon as I do, then you'll see that it says project rename. So that is how you actually do the rename. And as far as the deletion, it would be the same thing. Go back into the gear, and it will pull up all of the projects. And we're going to go to delete this project. Um, from here, what we have to do is hit the home button in this page, and it will display all your projects. Then you go to delete this project, and you need to hit the drop down there and select archive. A project cannot be deleted until it's been archived. This is kind of a pain, but it's actually a good idea to where you do not mistakenly uh, delete a video. Once you archive it, as soon as you do that, you'll see the archived tab up at the top. Simply hit archived, delete this project is in the archived. Go over to the right hand side, hit delete, and the delete is complete. It's notified by the green tab that shows you up top. And then again, you can go over to the left hand side under projects, right click, hit reload, and you'll notice that that project is no longer there. There you go, guys. That's how you rename and delete projects with inside of Fusion 360.